Hello and welcome back. On today's episode I'm going to be talking primarily about the Virtual Stamp X International which is taking place in a couple of months time on well between the 4th and the 6th of May 2023. Um, I've never been to um, either a physical or a virtual Stamp X before and you know the virtual stamp X is obviously an online um, experience now it says here on the site join dealers auction houses philatelic businesses collectors and enthusiasts from all over the globe and it gives you some more information so here yep yeah, it runs the virtual stamp X 4th to the 6th of May 2023 so there is a website which is stampexinternational.com now if you're interested in going it is free to attend virtually so there's this link here which is stampex.vfers.com and if you click on register now all you have to do is fill in some basic details your first name last name email country Tick the box whether you want to receive further communications, etc. You know the kind of thing. And then there's a section here on areas of interest. So for me, myself, I clicked on Great Britain. And then you obviously just highlight the sections that apply to you. I've already registered my attendance. And what they do is they send you an email with a link and a username so that on the day of the event you simply follow the link and sign in now i don't know what happens when you sign in because as i said I've, I've never attended one of these events so there is a there's an faq to answer the frequently asked questions um the first one that gets asked is how much do, will it cost me to attend this event absolutely nothing virtual stamp X is completely free so that's why I've, I've opted to jump in I thought I'd give it a look and see what's going on do I need to download any information to be able to attend no you only need access to the internet then it gives you some technical questions here well basic technical questions what is the preferred browser Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox and Edge, so that covers most platforms. Can I log in using my phone or tablet? Yes, so again, people who don't have access to a laptop or a PC can attend. Is a webcam required? The answer to that is no, unless you want to uh, video chat with booth reps text chat and audio chat is available obviously for audio chat you need a microphone and some method of hearing whether it's speakers or headphones i'll be wearing a headset and again simple questions how do i log in on show day as i've described your login details will be emailed to you ahead of the event please check junk mail yeah junk spam folders you know the score if you regularly use email how do i buy stamps just a few other things so there's, yeah there's a few things here to have a look through um virtual stamp x is live 24 hours a day over the three full days and then it gives you the times in various countries new york hong kong london los angeles sydney at what time it starts so I'm guessing, is that the same? 3am and 8am, yeah, the five hour difference. Yeah, so it all starts at the same time. So it starts at 8am London time. Which equates to 3am. Um, I think that's Eastern Standard Time, isn't it, in the US? 
Um, so what's on this exhibits chat auditorium round tables now one thing that I, I did oh booth holders as well so PTS members from all over the world businesses traders etc one thing I did notice is on this page on the actual stampexinternational.com page what's on at virtual stampex and then gives you a couple of options here stampex talks um full schedule to come on the 31st of march now you know i must admit i don't know i don't recognize any of these names and maybe i should but um yeah, in my ignorance, I don't recognise any of those names. But another thing that is here, and on round tables, you will notice that there are some names that some of us, in fact, most of us will probably recognise. This year, Virtual Stampex will be home to a number of round tables. In a dedicated room, round tables allow up to 16 people to connect via video in a fully integrated space to discuss key areas of interest, debate, hot topics, and meet in an informal session. So there are different time slots, um, different categories of the round tables are learn, connect, explore, societies, and meet the dealer. One of interest here at 12 noon on the Thursday, but this is the fourth, is a meet and greet with Graham from Exploring Stamps. Now, obviously here it's saying that there's only up to 16 people to connect via video. I'm wondering if everybody else can just watch and listen rather than be actively involved. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out on the day. Um... 1800 hours 6 p.m. there we've got meet stamp cat i'm sure a few of you are familiar with stamp cat from youtube friday at 0800 meet the punk philatelist another well-known uh, uh, champion of the hobby and as you can see there's others here and on the friday at 1800 6 p.m Richard Philatelist, again, somebody familiar to me and maybe to yourselves, shares his tips on how to make a U. I'm guessing that's going to be a YouTube video or channel. Uh, Discord at Stampex. Join Punk Philatelist to learn about modern philately, I'm guessing. It seems that these uh, headings are kind of trimmed to a certain length of character. So that's at 8.30 on the Saturday. And on the Saturday evening at 2100, 9pm, we've got Meet the Digital Philatelist. Again, somebody I'm sure everybody or majority of people are aware of online. He's uh, another champion of the hobby with an absolutely fantastic website. If you haven't checked that out, go and check out the Digital Philatelist online. It's like a repository of of who's who on YouTube, and it gives everybody's links. It gives everybody's links for um, different branches of social media. It gives links to blogs. Um, there's loads of articles on there. Very uh, well put together page. So yeah, I'll be attending and hopefully I'll I'll get a chance to join the round table with Graham and Richard, but obviously if places are limited, I'm guessing it'll just be a first come, first served. Or people may just drop in, drop out, and we can be sat in a lobby and then perhaps jump in to fill a vacancy once somebody has dropped out. I don't know, this is it, I just don't know how it's going to work. I'm just attending purely as an attendee. Um, 
there's no way on earth that um, I was going to be doing anything else other than that. I certainly don't have the credence to be trying to host a round table or anything. <laughs> but, you know, Graham and Richard Philatelist have been, and Punk Philatelist, you know, they've been around for a good while. They're kind of seasoned um, members of the community. And I'm sure that we'd all like to get a chance to maybe have a quick five minutes here or there. I don't know how easy it is to chat with them outside of the scope of these round table chats but hopefully there is some way that we could do that then there's also uh stampex booth holders now this i believe is relating to the different dealers and yeah that's various uh dealers there so i'll take it you can browse pages of stock and even buy things online if if you so desire um i'm not going to gravitate directly towards this one for any particular reason <laughs> but this is a this is my uh go-to place for my british uh collecting habits bb stamps so i'll be sure to give them a visit I did actually get their catalogue in the post today, which was absolutely it's absolutely fantastic. And I've noticed something. I think there's something about having a tangible, physical copy of a catalogue in your hand that you don't get with a website. And it's the matter that you can just flick between pages really quickly and see something that you might miss if you're browsing and scrolling through countless pages of of web pages do you, if you do you know what i mean i think you know there's there is something really nice about having that that hard copy so yeah i was really pleased to receive that i didn't ask for it i'm obviously on the mailing list because i'm i'm a <laughs> i'm a repeat customer so yeah i mean there's others on here i recognize mark blocks um I've not had any dealings with any of these other names on here. But yeah, if you're interested, then... Oh, there's also an option here to book a booth, so... I'm guessing this is if you're a... Ah, oh, this is... Yeah, you're going to have to pay for that. This is obviously a business type thing. If you're a business selling something... So yeah, that's irrelevant, I think, to, to most of us. So if we then return back home. So yeah, I'm just interested to see how it pans out. As I've said, I've never attended anything of this nature before. One thing to take into consideration, if you are attending, it runs from the 4th till the 6th of May. Now the 6th of May is also the date for the coronation service of King Charles III. So if you were looking at attending, you know, maybe you're going to miss some of the sessions because you'd be watching the coronation. You know, the coronation takes place in the in the UK on the Saturday morning. So obviously you've got to factor in time shifts if you live in another uh, another country with another time zone. But yeah, that's on Saturday, May the 6th. We've got a long weekend. That weekend we get them Monday off as a bank holiday, a public holiday. Um, so yeah, I just wondered if, um, anybody else was interested in, in tagging along and hopefully people do. And, you know, if there's some way that we can virtually chat and hang out somehow virtually, then I think that might be a good thing. You know, I'm, I'm happy to do that and... 
I guess we can just wait and see how it how it plays out. One more final thing before I close this uh, short video is there's a new set of British stamps of um, dropped for pre-order today. Now it's this set here, this set of flowers. Now. Obviously, some people look at that and think that's a really pretty set of stamps. I'm I'm not a I'm not a great uh, lover of flowers or gardening, but you know I can see the appeal. But one thing that is interesting about these is if we have a look at one of the stamps and zoom in. These are the first stamps to feature the cameo silhouette of King Charles the Third rather than that of uh, our late Queen. And one thing you will notice is this is a different um, silhouette than the head, the coin head that is used on the definitives, because on that one the, the, there's, there's no shoulders, it kind of cuts off at the neck. So this is obviously a new design. Um, I'm guessing that this will be one of those like the Queen's was where it's reversible so on some stamps it may be left facing and it could be in this corner over here and depending on the design of the stamp it could be in the lower corners but yeah so quite interesting I mean we've seen from some of the crown dependencies that they've already moved to using the King Charles the Third Royal Cipher instead of the E ER Royal Cipher that was used, you know, predominantly for countries like the well, Crown Dependencies such as Isle of Man, Jersey, Guernsey. So I'm wondering if this will also factor in to some of the those Crown Dependency stamps because they seem to use both. For the Queen, they used to use the silhouette and also the cipher. So that will be interesting to see going forward. So yeah, if anybody's interested in picking up the first set of stamps featuring this new silhouette of King Charles, then these are available at shoproyalmail.com. Uh, special stamp issues. So if you look here, if you click on that drop down, it's a dynamic drop down as you can see, it just pops up. And the flowers is there on the left of, at the top. So you just click that hyperlink. And below that are the Charles III definitives. So if I just show you these briefly, you'll see what I mean about the difference in the head. Now I want to do that and then I want to do that. So as you can see on this image, there is actually no shoulders present on the image. It's just the neck up image because this is the coin image. And obviously on the coin, the wording of the coin will run in a circular fashion underneath the head. So anyway, just a short and sweet um, little video. Um, I will have another one later this week. Not sure when or where. My schedule's all over the place at the moment. Um, I'm just grabbing time when I can. Um, I've spent a bit of time with some stamps today. I've populated some albums with some Isle of Man stamps. Um, I've received some more incoming mail from viewers. And I've had a couple of nice emails offering me some other um, stamps to fill gaps in my collection, which I'm, again, as always, I'm totally grateful for. So if you would like to reach out, please do. Um, I've also sent out in the post again today, I've sent a couple of items to, to viewers and people I've interacted with, with some stamps for them. Um, so, yeah hope you're all doing well if you've enjoyed the video please give this a thumbs up give me a like 
if you're not already subscribed then please consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell just to alert you when a next video is dropping so I'll keep it at that and I'll say to you take care stay warm and I will see you in the next one bye for now